everyone, this is Melissa, the M of the m &H, here to share with you my hair cleansing regime. Um, my hair, basically, myself and Uget, we wash our hair um, in the most natural way possible. We tend not to use shampoos. Um, and when we do use shampoos, we tend to dilute them um, quite heavily in water. So let's pretend this is a shampoo bottle. Um, we would put that much shampoo, that much shampoo, and that much water to kind of water it down. Um, in this case, I'm going to be doing the apple cider vinegar um, rinse mix and the uh, bicarbonate of soda mix as well. Um, my hair is about 13 days on wash. Um, and it's just feeling like it really needs a wash. So I've had it all down and I've just tied it back for convenience. So let me quickly show you what I have done so far. Almond oil I have put through my hair already. To the base of my locks I've put almond oil. I've run out so I'm going to be using castor oil. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to be oiling through my hair because that's what I do. I always thoroughly oil through my hair before I start shampooing it. Um, that's just because it works for my hair. My hair loves oil and I love oil. Um, and I love the way it feels after I've shampooed it. It feels already conditioned, soft, clean, and there's moisture retention in it. So I don't have to rush off and oil my hair immediately, which I love. Um, so, I am going to be using for today um, some jasmine oil um, and I'll figure out where I'm going to use that. I might just use a little bit of it with the apple cider vinegar rings because the smell is quite strong and I'd want to kind of, um, kind of mix the smell so I, my hair is not consumed by that. The apple cider vinegar smell. This is the apple cider vinegar I've, met, I've bought. Um, you can get this in any local grocery. And then I've got bicarbonate of soda. Um, and I got that from Boots. The bicarbonate of sodium, it says, and bicarbonate of soda, they all do the same thing. You know, the, the one you use on cakes or people using savory food, it does the same thing. The theory for myself and a get is what you can digest, as much as we can use it on our hair, we will do. So what we can digest, if it's good for us to digest, then it would be good for our hair. Um, and so that's it, let me start. Um, you need a spoon and I've got a little funnel. So this is the bicarbonate of soda mix. Now, some people have their regime already and they would not need to watch this. This is for those who are, um, are new to it and are thinking, how is it done? Now, I, I do this measurement against my hair type and what works for my hair. So please do not um, think that you have to kind of I mean, you have to be cautious, but don't think you have to stick with exactly what Melissa is doing here. Okay, so I tend to use one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, and I put it through. And that, for me, is normally enough to clean my hair. So that's all I'm going to be putting. And then I just put water in it. Okay, hope it doesn't spill everywhere. Spilled a little. There, that's it. And I look. And I look and I think, does it, is it enough? And for me, that is enough. Then what I would do is, so the bicarbonate of soda is in there. Shake it up, gently actually, gently shake it up because it, it could fizz up, okay. And then um, this bottle is about a 275 ml bottle. This is perfect for me. There's a bit of a saline, um, salty taste to it, and this is enough for my hair to be washed. Okay, now I'm going to the apple cider vinegar mix. Did I say you can just get this in any local grocery shop? Okay, so I've poured it in, and really what I should do is measure it. So I'm going to measure it now. There's about a teaspoon in there, and I'll put. I would do, I would do, for me, for Melissa's hair, two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more than that, two and a half, yeah, 
that's what I'll do for me. Right. And then, because I love oil, I'm going to put some jasmine oil as well. I just put a tablespoon. I put some jasmine oil, and that's it. Just a little bit more because I love oil. So as I said, don't necessarily stick with this measurement because this is Melissa's version for her hair. For her hair. Yes. That's it. And then I add water, fill it up to the top. This bottle is about a 250 ml bottle. Waste nothing. Rinse it out, rinse it out. Oops, it's spilling a bit. Right, that's it. That is Melissa's hair regime. And it's just gone to the top. Wastage. There, that's it. And because I do not waste anything, I rub a bit into my hair. That's what I do. So that's it. So now I'm going off to wash my hair and um, I'll do a recording when I finish washing my hair and I probably will try and do a styling, um, a quick short styling um, session for you just to see how you can quickly kind of manage your hair in the daytime uh, for a new style. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm off to go wash my hair. This is Melissa's no poo regime. Thank you. Bye. If you have any questions or if you feel there's something I've missed out, if you've got any tips for me, please, please get in touch. As usual, the contact details will be at the end of this video posting. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye.